I swear to God, if Chris doesn't become a girl, I'm going to be really angry. Up Wedding Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for um, A Gravity Boys Chapter 2. So, last chapter, like, it started off interesting, but like the ending just like pissed me off. I was like, really? You guys are fucking dumb. Anyway, I swear, Chris got to turn into a girl. If Chris don't turn into a girl, then that's some bullshit right there. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. And this chapter is titled Downtown Boys, Uptown Girl. Project Hermes, humanity's greatest uh, project ever to terraform a new planet for colonization. The four of us, Sokka, Geralt, uh, Babasaraki, and Chris have landed on uh, the Earth-like uh, planet Alpha Jum Jumbro as the expedition team. That's one thing I gotta say is I fucking love that this is called this planet is called Jumbro. Or Alpha Jump Roll. I love it. I It just, it's, I don't know. It just is uh, speaking to me. But while on our voyage, nuclear war broke out on Earth. Excluding the four of us, humanity came to an abrupt end, we think. While wallowing in our despair, we were suddenly visited by a mysterious being from a higher dimension. He gave us an elixir called uh, Gender Division that could change one person's gender and then vanished. And then, having endured a chain of ex uh, extraordinary events and uh, under such bizarre circumstances, we were a mess. Chris, become a woman! It's possible that it would be relative to the size of a penis. You animals! Like a real vest! But as Earth's last four survivors, uh, we resolved to work together to survive. Just become a girl, Chris! Jesus! In the conference room on board um, the expedition vessel, the little skeep, uh, there's no mistaking it. There are records of other countries sitting out ships at the same time as ours to colonize planets. Oh, that sells it. In addition to us, there are other survivors of humanity in outer space. But what if they're not all women? What if there? What if there's no women up in there? Come on, man, this is some bullshit. We thought humanity was done for, but there's a possibility that it still lives on. Slim as it may, we still got a chance. But keep the fucking. I'm so mad they threw the elixir away. Like what? That was fucking dumb. I hope they get their elixir back. I hope someone was smart enough to do that. But I don't know with this bunch of bunch of morons. I'd like to ask them what, about what really happened on Earth after we left, or even call them to Alpha Jumbro. Uh, we first need to establish a connection, uh, co establish contact with them. If I had to point out one problem, it'd be this. We got here in three days, but it'll take the others another 20 years before they can arrive. We overdid it on the warp. Um, it's like everyone else is running a full marathon while we finished it after running only 20 meters. It still feels like uh, we're just uh, on some domestic trip. I know it's a little late to ask this, but I take it when um, it comes to communication, since it still takes 20 years one way, then faster than uh, light travel, it'll also take 20 years for the communication to come through. Figures. Darn it, is there no other way? There's a ship full of girls waiting for us out there somewhere. You don't fucking know that there's all women up in there. You don't know. Why are you assuming the passengers are all female? Thank you. Thank you for saying that, Chris. Thank you. But seriously, that motherfucker needs to turn into a woman. I, I swear to God. What? The, the, the room's suddenly really bright. Wait, huh? Um, is this what I think it is? No way. It could, no way. It couldn't be, could it? Foolish humans. This guy again. I hail from a dimension much higher than your own. Yeah, we know. This is his second visit in as many days. Are we on his walking course or something? <laughs> I don't like being caught off guard by him dropping in, so maybe we should install an, inter an intercom. But he would, surpa he would just go past the intercom, morons. We're sort of busy here, so what do you want? So quick to be rude to me. All of you know that uh, because of that elixir you brought last time, we were running around like chickens with our heads cut off. Don't think we're going to get caught up in uh, your sick idea of fun again. And every time you show up, the objects around you start floating around. It's a pain in the butt having to clean up after you. Stick to the laws of physics. I see. You are both foolish and inferior. I forgot that you do not yet possess the fifth hand. We um don't have the... We don't have the third or fourth either. In any case, I have come here, I've come here on a mere whim to give you fools a choice. A faster-than-light communicator powered by uh, um, Tachyon transmission it is capable of transmitting communication in a 400-light-year radius lag-free. Whoa, this is exactly what we were looking for. With this, all our problems are solved. You still gotta wait 20 fucking years, though. Your problems ain't solved yet. Thanks, higher being. Now that I take a good look at it, that... Fifth hand actually is pretty cool, acting all chummy, and that's not all. This is a 17-year-old puffin from the Space Maids Center on planet Al Alessia, 2,100 uh, 2, uh, light years away from here. This girl will come here once a week to clean for you as a maid. I chose her based on her looks, which I thought uh, best matched your taste. 
those, I'm just looking at those tits, though. What the fuck is up with those tits? It's truly creepy. They look so weird. Um, oh, sorry. I will pay, uh, let me read this one. This girl will come here once a week to clean up for you as a maid. I will pay for her and we'll do some monthly installments. And of course, you are not to touch her. I chose her based on looks, which I thought best was, best matched your taste. That is so fucked up. I will I will specially grant you foolish and pitiful boys only one or the other. You have ten minutes to choose which it will be. The communicator. What emotion is that? Just ten minutes left. Um, think. What should we choose? What about the communicator? And Bobby, don't go making moves on her like it's already a done deal. Since you're not used to this place, are you are you cold? You can use this blanket. That jerk again with her blanket. He seriously has a one-track mind. Now that I look closer, she's a hologram, huh? For real? Still doesn't mean you can try and touch her. Uh, so she was just a hologram. I thought her reactions to her surroundings were a little underwhelming. So that means her image is being sent here in real time? Uh, hold on. She, she started moving. Oh, man, she's waiting. Don't fucking do that. Don't be stupid. Don't pick the maid. I swear to God. Don't fucking do it. It's like with the gender. It's the gender elixir all over. God, this manga is making me mad. Oh, gosh. Um, what do you do? suppose she's she's doing? Cleaning? Hey, Papa, there's a lot of machinery lying around over there, so be careful. Why are you talking uh, talking like you're uh, like you're a boyfriend or something? You're the one who's uh, real. You're the one who realized she's a hologram. I'm just going to come right out and ask it. You're not seriously considering choosing the maid, are you? Oh, ye of little faith, Chris. We have some sort of um, we have some semblance of priorities. We just want to make the most of the ten minutes we have. <laughs> not bothering her that reminds me he mentioned a space maid center does that mean this girl's an alien sounds like it i took a quick look at her eyes her iris pattern um is different she may look like an earthling but this girl really is an alien yeah think about it with our communicator we could communicate not only with earth but with all the unknown alien species out there too you're right that'd be so cool oops by the way how much time do we have left um hmm, what on earth is she doing your time is up now tell me which have you chosen is it no you fucking idiots! Oh my god, this is so stupid! What a stupid choice! Oh my god! Isn't it uh, isn't it obvious? The maid! Well, well, I knew you boys would be entertaining! <laughs> you guys are fucking stupid! Oh my god, this is so fucking dumb! In that case, but we don't need her to come to the ship once a week, and of course we don't need her cleaning services. Instead, we have a request to make. Uh, she's crying? Those aren't tears of joy. Anyone can see she looks really crushed. Uh, they had her oh my god, I wouldn't know how, how um, extraterrestrials feel, but it looks to me like she's sad about something. What do you suppose she's looking at that would make her cry so much? Darn it, the hologram isn't projecting whatever in her hands. If only we knew what it was. Wait, how much time do we have? One minute? One minute? Her eyes, uh, uh, that's right. If her eyes are stretched like a human, they might be reflecting what she's looking at right now. Baba, I'll, um... I'll have it analyzed and up on the main monitor in 30 seconds. I know you're just a hologram, but I'm sorry for spying on your business. We honestly don't know much about alien matters. Um, and we're not, claiming to, uh, we're not claiming to understand some random alien we've know, uh, known for all of 10 minutes. But all we know is she was crying while looking at the photo, that's all. The four of us decided this together. This honestly sounds like a request that you're basing off some something entirely unknown. But are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Hmm. Then I will honor your choice. At least they have a woman there. I'm still angry that the Kristen turned into a woman. Because that would have been fucking amazing. And it, would, it just would have, oh god, it just would have fit better. And the comedy would have been so goddamn hilarious. Ugh, it's a waste of potential, this manga. I don't blame her for acting like that. She was just teleported here without warning. I bet we look really suspicious to her now. The rest is up to this girl. She's smiling! Some years ago, she was just like you four. Uh, she was sucked into a set of wormhole and ended up um, a marooned on planet Alesta. 15,000 light years away from her home planet and alone in an unfamiliar land, she tried to find a way back home. As you requested, I've sent her to her family with her consent. Yay! Okay, we got a good decision here! This is a good decision! Thank, oh my god, we got a good decision out of these guys! 
That last look on her face, do you think she understood us? I can't say for sure. I see, so even though you inferior beings lack uh, the, even the third hand, you are still able to transcend language and understand emotions and, mem and memory. You really are a pain in the butt. Well, as long as she got uh, back home, that's all that matters. Why did you forgo the communicator, the communicator you needed um, in, fa in favor of helping a girl you didn't know based on uncertainties? Come on, don't assume our humanity is only skin deep. Anybody would want to get back home again. Of course, we left our own home in the dust, uh, space dust, that is. <laughs> your space buns are so clever, Saga. Fools. But um, when I look past your foolishness, sometimes there's something there, huh? You can just admit we outsmarted you. Uh, well, with high expectations, I will do you one more favor. Yeah, they got the communicator! Thank fucking God! The faster than light communicator? With this, we can establish communication with everyone. Woo, we did it! I don't believe it! Now that I think about it, those tentacle things are pretty nifty. I'll have, I'll have you know, even if this thing is capable of faster than light communication, if the recipient doesn't have the technology to intercept its transmission, uh, then it's useless. What? But you're all, you were on board with it too! That's because it'd be an invaluable research material. Then, then we can establish contact with aliens capable of receiving it. They'd have to have a culture far superior to our own to fulfill such a requirement, and we can't assume that all species would be friendly. Again? This makes me mad that we didn't just turn Chris into a girl. Why? Why did, were you guys so stupid? Ugh, and how are we supposed to communicate with beings that don't understand our language? Oh, in the end, he was toying with us the entire time. Oh, but he left us one more thing. Um, it must be some kind of manual or something. Just what do aliens think? I wonder if the day will ever come where we uh, truly understand each other. Good question. Oh, my God. I swear to God. This manga makes, uh, this manga frustrates me. My god, the stupidity in this manga is like, uh, like unbelievable. I just can't stand it. Like, they, uh, they were, they, this manga is so dumb. I really, really want Chris to turn into a girl, okay? I really want that, but uh, I'm just thinking manga gods that, and manga Jesus that we got Zip Man, because Zip Man is actually good. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, what you guys uh, thought of this chapter, and what you guys think of this manga. Do you guys think this manga is just plain stupid like I do? And uh, somehow I'm going to torture myself and read this manga and hope it gets better. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan's Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you um, more A Gravity Boys content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist, all this in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me and PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye!